We don't expect anybody to feel sorry, and we don't expect anybody to really understand that isn't black. New Jersey Devils defenseman P.K. Subban on Sunday night addressing an incident involving an alleged racist taunt aimed at his younger brother Jordan in a minor league hockey game over the weekend. <laughs> the incident happened between the South Carolina Stingrays and Jacksonville Icemen. The video appears to show Jacob Panetta raise his arms towards his side while looking at Subban. Jordan took to his social media to say that Panetta made a monkey gesture towards him, so he, quote, punched him in the face. The ECHL suspended Panetta indefinitely while they reviewed what happened, but his team, the Jacksonville Iceman, dropped him altogether. Panetta took to his social media to say he made a tough guy bodybuilder gesture. I want to express to everyone, and especially Jordan, that my actions were not racially motivated at all. I sincerely apologize for the pain and suffering and anger that my actions have caused him, his family, and everyone who was hurt by this. Unfortunate thing isn't just the incident. The unfortunate thing is how many kids deal with this every day um, and it doesn't come to light. Is everyone outside of the hockey world talking about it? Probably not. So that's the unfortunate thing is I think about all the other kids and people that deal with this every day, and it doesn't get talked about. The incident happened 24 hours after the American Hockey League suspended a player 30 games after he made a racist gesture towards a black player on an opposing team. On Monday morning, P.K. Subban said it's now about moving forward. Jordan will be fine. I mean, uh, that's what we always say when things happen. We'll be fine. I'd rather just people focus on how can we change it and make it better so that the next kid that looks like P.K. Subban or Jordan Subban doesn't have to go through this. A number of players have come together over the last year to create the Hockey Diversity Alliance. They just released a campaign called Tape Out Hate, trying to bring to light the constant racism they experience in the sport. I just believe that um, the everyday person watching hockey at home and uh, that's a hockey fan doesn't really realize what players of color face. Um, in the game of hockey and um, it's something that it's kind of sad to say we've normalized getting called racial slurs and getting things sent to us that are obviously uh, um, racially motivated and, and, and out of line. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.